Joseph Hand, a Dell product expert with years of in-depth experience with Aperture software, shares his insight into the features that set Aperture apart. We have a feature called Live Recovery. Live Recovery enables us to restore data almost instantly. So if I have a failed volume, I have the ability of starting the restore and roughly 30 seconds into that restore, the data is presented to the end user and they are back to work, right? The restore actually continues in the background. And as data is requested, it's prioritized so it's automatically fed back to the original host in real time. What's different about it and the rest of the, the backup products that are out there is it actually looks at the application's health. Right? I have the ability to give you an assurance by testing that data that that application not only is restorable, but it will actually work. So we have a feature called universal recovery. This is kind of you know, a combination of different technologies. It enables us to really take that data and access it pretty much anytime, anywhere. So think in terms of the many ways that you can actually recover data. The possible scenarios of data loss are limitless. I need to recover an individual message out of my exchange store. I need to recover three, three rows in a SQL table. All right, I need files, I need folders. What about an entire volume? How about the entire server, right? Uh, what if it's physical and, I, and I, I only have the ability to recover it to virtual? Right? This is the scope of universal recovery. It's taking, it's the ability to back up a machine and then get any level of granularity and recover it in any scenario. Joseph explains to us the power of data reduction with the deduplication and compression abilities of Aperture software. Another feature that we can talk about is the overall data reduction methodology in Aperture. So we have what we call a combination of things. We have global dedupe. Global dedupe allows me to back up any number of servers to this core, and I can literally dedupe across all of those machines into one single repository, right? That repository can be huge. It can be small. It can be anywhere in between. But the important thing is, is if I'm backing up 100 Windows servers, I only have to store one copy of the operating system, one copy of any relevant patches of any of the other software that you have on each of these boxes. So I'm not taking up that entire you know, backup store. When you're using an incremental type of approach, this is really critical, especially in the disk world where disk space, even though it's you know, relatively inexpensive these days, it's still a premium. Right? So you want to take advantage of every inch of that space that you've got. We also leverage compression. Compression algorithms and, and dedupe combined give us phenomenal data reduction uh, numbers. The last piece of that is if I'm replicating this data, let's say I have a bunch of satellite offices and I want to replicate all of those back to the main site. I can replicate all of those servers, they'll all be individually deduped. As I send data across, I'm using an algorithm that allows me to verify whether or not the block exists in the remote site first before I send the data. So now I'm actually reducing the amount of data that goes over the pipe, right? WAN, the WAN is your most expensive piece of networking, right? So let's try and save there as well. Now I send all of these multiple sites back to the main location and I'm deduping there as well. Wondering what is new in Aperture 5.3? Joseph addresses the enhancements in the latest Aperture release. In the latest release, 5.3, we've made some even further strides with the product in terms of performance overall, uh, whether it's you know, backing up an agent or the performance of the core server and what its capabilities are. It extends the scalability of the core. One of the most uh, exciting new features in 5.3 is Linux support. So uh, we now have support for uh, Red Hat, Enterprise, we have support for Ubuntu, uh, CentOS, and SUSE. This has been something that our user base has been asking for for quite some time. When we went to the 5 platform, we created a completely new UI uh, from the 4 platform. The 5 platform now offers uh, you know, a, a, a complete uh, ability to manage the core servers and the environment in general uh, all through a single web page. 
So I can now have multiple cores managed from a central management console, and I can easily switch between machines, set policies, uh, create reports, uh, you know, pretty much anything from that one console. Aperture software gives you a smarter way to protect data and applications in your growing environment. So whether you choose to purchase Aperture software alone or the PowerVault DL4000 appliance powered by Aperture, you get the peace of mind that comes with knowing you can get back to business as usual in practically no time at all. Dell, giving you the power to do more.